to be able to use FaceTime or messages, you do require an Apple ID. But something that I found kind of interesting is that you actually don't have to be logged into iCloud to use messages and FaceTime. If I go into the system preferences for iCloud, you will notice that in this list, you won't see neither FaceTime nor messages. So even though they are related, meaning iCloud and messages and FaceTime, they all use your Apple ID, they're not dependent on each other. The only thing that is required is that you do have an Apple ID. But this is something that not many people know. The fact that you can have more than one email address associated with your FaceTime or your Messages account. And this is very, very cool and very useful. Especially if you had had another email address that people know you by and you've had it for a long time. Let me set this hypothetical example. Let's assume that I have been using this Outlook email address for a number of years. And recently, I opened up an Apple ID with my new iCloud account, which is what I have set up currently in my Messages and FaceTime application. Let me show you. I'm going to quit the system preferences. And under Messages, if I go under Accounts or Preferences, and then Accounts, you're going to notice that I do have my Apple ID associated with my iCloud account. But coming back to my example, of using my Outlook email address for the longest time, most people wouldn't have my iCloud account. So they would know me by my Outlook account. Well, this is the thing that is actually pretty cool. If you see underneath, there's an option that we can add a new email address where we can be reached at. Let me just enter my password for my iCloud account. A verification email was just sent to my Outlook account. The reason why they do that is so that you don't end up misrepresenting or receiving messages for other people that you shouldn't be receiving. So let me go into Safari, into my Outlook account, and verify that email that we just got. So here is the verification from Apple, and I just have to click on the verify now to allow my Mac to use messages. So now I have to log in with my Apple ID. And the email has verified. So let me go back to messages. And after a few seconds, it verifies that now we're receiving messages on both email addresses. Since FaceTime hadn't been registered with this other email address, I'm getting this offer to associate my Outlook email address with FaceTime so that I can also receive FaceTime calls if somebody tries to reach me using my Outlook.com email address. So for now, I'm going to click no, so I can show you how you can actually enter that same information in FaceTime.